Last week I posted a video with tutorial on 7 segment displays. In it I used 7 pins to control single display. In this video I will show you how to reduce number of pins needed to 3 with the use of shift registers. 3 pins not to control just one but multiple displays. Let's get started. Shift registers are sequential logic circuits capable of storage and transfer of data. Shift register has 16 pins, ground pin, VCC pin, enable output active when set to low, master reset set to high, when set to low it resets all output pins to zero. Serial output pin is a special pin that outputs the overflowing data, so we can daisy chain more shift registers. Then we have a clock pin. Bits are shifted into the shift register when the clock changes from high to low. The next pin is the latch pin. When driven high, the content of the shift register is copied into the storage register, which ultimately shows up at the output. Data pin is used to feed data into the shift register a bit at a time. And finally, we have 8 output pins numbered from 0 to 7. Here is how we connect shift register to Arduino and 7 segment display that we want to control. Ground of Arduino is connected to ground of shift register as well as enable output pin. Arduino 5 volts goes to common pin of 7 segment display master reset pin and VCC pin of shift register. Then we connect data clock and latch pins to Arduino digital pins 4, 3 and 2. Zero output pin is not used. Remaining 7 pins are connected to individual pins of the display representing segments from A to G. All are connected via current limiting resistors. Let's connect the real thing. Here is a quick simulation showing how shift registers work. In this example we would like to display digit 4 on the 7 segments display. We will treat this display as common cathode so we lit segments with high signal. At the start data clock and latch pins are set to low. We enter segments in reverse order, so the first one is segment G. It is supposed to be on, so the first thing we do, we change data pin to high. Then, when the clock pin goes to high, value 1 is read from data pin and pushed into the storage register. The next segment F is also high, so there is no need to change the value on the data pin. We just set clock pin to low and back to high. Again the value 1 is read off the data pin and sent to the storage register. You see that the previous bit is pushed further down the register. The next segment E is supposed to be off, so we change the signal on the data pin to low. And again do low high combination on the clock pin to send 0 to the shift register. We continue in the same fashion for all remaining segments. When all 8 bits are properly pushed into the storage register, we send the high signal to the latch pin. 
With this, all bits are output to the corresponding output pins. In my previous video, I came up with a table to store digit definition. With using shift register, we need to do small adjustment. Each digit has 7 segments, while shift register has 8 output pins. So to take this into account, we add a single column to the array, which would have obsolete values, but would make sure we address all 8 output pins of shift register. In the code, we first declare Arduino pins connected to data, clock and latch pins of shift register. Then we declare the table storing digit definitions, as discussed allocating 8 bits for a single digit, the first bit being obsolete. In setup function we declare data, clock and latch pins as output. And finally we create a custom function display digit. We pass digit as a parameter to that function and it searches for the right bit combination of that digit. And with the right sequence of high and low signals on data, clock and latch pins, it outputs that sequence bit at a time to a shift register. Let's write a simple program in the loop function. This will test the display digit function and use it to display digit 1. Works fine. Now let's extend the program to show in sequence digits from 0 to 9. We'll do it with a simple for loop statement. Also works fine. By now you should have in-depth understanding how to output digits on the shift register. There is a way of doing it much simpler. There is a way of doing it with shift out command, which does all the data clock and latch sequencing for us. It shifts out the whole byte of information one bit at a time. Here is the shift out command syntax. We pass following parameters to it. Data pin number, clock pin number, bit order. This parameter describes which order to shift out the bits. We have two options, most significant bit first or least significant bit first. And then finally we pass the value we want to shift out. Using this command we can greatly simplify the code. First we need to redo the way we store digit definitions. The current digit definition table cannot be used with shift out commands. For starters we are working with a common anode display. So we lit segments with low signals and turn them off with high. We need to transform this table. We will do it in two steps. For each row, we will invert all the bits, except the first one, which is obsolete. We are ending up with binary inverse representation of each digit. Then we convert this to decimal value. So as an example for zero, we are inverting all the bits then, after conversion, we have 1 representing digit 0. For digit 1, we end up with decimal value 79 representing it. Having all 10 decimal digit representations, we construct the one-dimensional table to store them. Now we can refer to those values and send them as parameters to shift out function. Now let's go through the changes to the code when we introduce shift out command. We can drop display digit function altogether. Pins declarations are not changed. We replace two-dimension array with digit definitions with a simple one-dimensional array with decimal representation of digit. Setup function remains unchanged. Then in loop function we have a for loop that gets executed for variable uh, i value changing from 0 to 9. With each iteration we look through that digits table and find the right digit decimal representation of variable i and shift it out to the shift register. Let's see how this is going to work. We are able to reduce the number of Arduino pins used with shift registers. With one display, you do not really see much benefits. They will become apparent with a bit of magic. Voila! Here we have a second display, link to the shift register. Let's see how we can chain connect the two shift registers. This picture shows two shift registers. 
the first shift register data pin is connected to Arduino Digital Pin 4. Both shift registers clock and latch pins are connected to the same Arduino pins, digital pins 2 and 3. Then serial out pin of the first register is connected to the data pin of the second one. This way we daisy chained both registers and that gives us possibility of connecting more. Now imagine that we have 16-bit sequence that we want to output. Through the data pin of the first register we pushed it into the register. When the first register fills up, through serial out pin it starts pushing the data to the other register. When all 16 bits are pushed into the shift register, we can change the signal on the latch pins from high to low to send the whole 16 bits to the output pins of the shift register. We plug in one end of the jumper wire to the serial output pin leaving the other end unconnected for now. Let's see what's going to happen if we execute the code we created previously for displaying sequence of digits from 0 to 9. It works the same way, displaying sequence of digits on the first display. But what's gonna happen when we connect the loose end of the jump wire to the data pin of the second shift register? It also starts displaying sequence of digits from 0 to 9, but it is shifted by 1 compared to the first display. E.g. when the display shows 1, the second one shows 0. Now let's adjust the code in the loop function to do the count on both displays from 0 to 99. Works fine. Now that the way shift registers work is pretty clear, it is time to do more complex projects. I promised someone cool looking digital clock with self-made large 7 segment displays. It will be few weeks before it's done, so subscribe to my channel and ring that bell not to miss anything. See you in my next video.